Bwana Naomba unikuze Naomba unikuze Moyo wangu uko karibu na wewe Nisomeshe karibu na wewe na wewe baba Na nyenyekea chini ya miguuni pako Kuitaji mwana yesuwe Ondo wa kiburi maisha ni mwagwe Nijaze na roho yako Ondo wa kisichofa maisha ni mwetu Tutembele baba Tumeleza buwana Karibu roo Fanya mapenzi yako Karibu roo Karibu roo Peki yangu mie siwe Siponiongoza baba Karibu ya we Fanya mapenzi yako Karibu tunakualika Fanya mapenzi yako Karibu buwana Hatuwe Mapenzi yako Fanya mapenzi yako Katika uduma yetu baba Karibu roo Fanya mapenzi ya baba Karibu
Kenya mapenzi Karibu ro Fanya mapenzi Karibu ro Fanya mapenzi ya Bwana Karibu ro Bwana karibia maisha ni mwako Karibu ro Karibu ro Karibu Bwana Maisha yetu bila zako Karibu ro Penzi yako Karibu katika nafsi yato baba Karibu katika uchumi yato ya kenya Karibu katika nchi yato ya su Fanya mapenzi Yesi ya wezi kana na wana jambu na weza Karibu ro Tunashuka chini winuliwe Nashuka winuliwe Wambia karibu ro Mali ya papu watu wezi ni wewe unaweza bwana Mali ya papu watu wezi ni wewe tunaweza Uli seba utatuwacha kamba ya tima Uli seba utatuwacha kamba ya tima buwana Uko pamoja nasi popote tuwendapo Uko pamoja nasi tunakualika uka tawale Tawale katika ujoma yetu Tawale katika inchi yetu Tawale katika biashara zetu buwana Tawale katika familia zetu Tawale katika ujoma zetu buwana ni wewe tunakualika subu ya leo katebe Tebe ukiponya, tebe ukinua Tebe ukifariji buwana, ukiita Karibu na wewe Fanya mapenzi Niguza tena baba Niguza tena baba Nifanya mapenzi ya kwa Hatuwezi bila wewe Hatuwezi bila wewe Karibu roho Fanya mapenzi Fanya mapenzi yako 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We honor you. We invite you this morning. Lord Jesus, take your place. Magnify your name. We worship you. We bow in your presence. We exalt you. It is a morning of declaration, mighty Father. Have your way, Holy Spirit. As your word says. Oh. But mighty Jesus, when we shall call upon your name, Lord, you shall be with us. It is the promise of, of God to the church. When we call the name of Jesus, call the name of Jesus, not any other name, wherever you are. Call on the name of Jesus, the sweet name of Jesus, the glorious name of Jesus, the powerful name of Jesus. He is worthy. He is mighty. I have never seen a righteous man forsaken or begging for a bread. A child of God, he will never be forsaken. If God be for us, who can be against us? From the beginning, he has declared his faithfulness to the church of living God. Even today, we hallow his name. We exalt his name. We bow at his presence. We esteem his name, knowing that, oh Jesus Christ, the price on the cross of Calvary was not in vain, but for me and for the dear believer, the dear viewer, you paid it. That ransom price for the church that we never gain be taken to captivity not the captivity of mind not captivity not physical captivity but we are knowledgeable of his word we were in captivity because we are ignorant but this morning our eyes are open as the bible says my ship hears my voice we are more than able even the spirit of his excellency has given us power to be able to discern the evil and good the spirit of God and the anti-spirits thank you mighty Jesus we soldier around this morning every hour every day it is a morning of prayer a morning of declaration a morning where the children of god present themselves and the lord jesus and oh god before we begin any activity before undertaking anything we are here may we hear from you May we lead us, may you lead our steps. May you lead us, O King, who am I that you have given me? Oh, this free gift of life. Some are buying the air. Some are walking up and down looking for healing. They are looking for solution. The night was so heavy for them. Things are tough. But Lord, I'm so glad that I'm in your house to worship you. I'm so glad that you have given me life in abundance. Not because I have everything. Not because I have material things of the world. 
know. But because one thing I know, that Jesus, you have given me salvation. I'm sure of this, that what I bear is not a counterfeit, but it's the faith that has been handed down ages and ages. Here I am again. This being the time I'm living, I lift the band of salvation. Just the word, like our forefather lifted it. They never compromised to anything. They never sold their birthrights. But they stood apart on the promise of their time. In the name of Jesus. Oh, telling the devil, we are here for a purpose. We are not here. Oh, just for anything, for existence, no. The children of God are here for a purpose. And I make this declaration before the throne that as the Lord lives and I being a child of God I speak like my forefather David though I go through the shadows of death I shall not want he is my staff he leads my, my, he leads my feet he has prepared before me a table before my enemy oh glorious God he is a mighty king he has brought me from the mire to where I stand I proclaim to my family to this generation that Jesus is the Lord and the king of king just the way my forefather demonstrated it and the current of the band of salvation I declare that I am not ashamed of the gospel. I am not ashamed of the cross that saved me. I am not ashamed of the old rugged faith. Oh, I am not ashamed of that name Jesus. And I declare it. I stand where John stood and his brother Peter and the jails and others say brethren it seems good for us as the command of our master Jesus gave us that we not do anything but in the name of Jesus so let it be known that him only we shall preach that name Jesus and we not talk about the church of Annas and Caiaphas. No. We will not talk, talk about the denomination of Sadducees, of, of Pharisees, because that has failed us. That has not brought salvation. We will not talk about oh, the clergyman who has been there. Those are people have failed us. But we had we have a sure word of prophecy. And we also have an evidence that the Jesus Christ, a man anointed with the fire and the Holy Ghost, wherever he went, he did good. That we ought to worship, we ought to glorify. And we shall speak about him. Because it's a decree and a command given to us that we preach him we also have an evidence that he's alive because the evidence stands here this man was lame but now he is walking this man was impotent but now he's walking not in the name of Caiaphas not in the name of others not in the name of high priest no they are failures not in the name of John the Baptist not in our name, but in the name of Jesus, whom we worship, whom we preach. He has given us command that He will not fail us. He has sent us to, to preach and demonstrate this kind work of God. That's why we stand here. That the name of Jesus, 
is highly exalted above every day at the mention of that name every knee bow that's why lameness could not hold him the chains of darkness could not hold him we are witnesses i stood i stand here this morning i am a witness that truly the word has been restored the power of god been restored the children of god can take it go with it proclaim in the name of jesus on the top of their voice that the healer the way oh the brothers of joseph goes down in israel to tell their father daddy joseph joseph is not dead he's alive he's living hallelujah oh mighty jesus the way joseph is telling the brother go tell my daddy i am alive oh the same way joseph tells us go tell the world i am alive i was dead that could not hold me go tell proclaim it jesus is alive we have an evidence The stone is roar. Give a Lord that. If you call upon his name, how shall you know that he is the same yesterday, today and forever? If you call on that name of Jesus, the same things he did in the flesh, the same thing he did, the God in Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. He shall do it. Oh, is alive the heritage of our salvation the pride of the church oh that which gives the confidence the church they were closed in fear when the baker was in the top they didn't know that this man of galilee that whatever he speaks it comes to fulfillment But on the third day, it was a day of celebration. The fear could not hold them again. Bars of darkness could not hold them again. Chains of fear could not hold them again. Oh, what a day of rejoicing. What a day of rejoicing. That the chains of darkness could not hold him. That's why Apostle Paul says, O oh, death, where is your sting? O oh, death, where is your sting? The power of death. Oh, sin has got no power. It has been destroyed. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, King of kings and the Lord of lords. You are worthy. You are mighty. Go tell the apostles. Go tell the disciples. Go tell the church that the Jesus is mighty is alive. Even today the devil said we stand. The true church of living God. The true church of living God. The ministers of the gospel. Oh. We are here again to proclaim just like Elijah That Lord, I've done God according to your command. Whenever a child of God will do it according to his command. Whenever he will preach it according to his command. Whenever he will be- believe in him according to his command. Oh, he'll do it. He will do it. That is what gave Hezekiah the confidence to stand before his maker and turn his face to the wall and tell the Lord God you cannot kill you cannot, you cannot take my life remember the things I've done oh hallelujah let the church be restored back so that they can call in the name of Jesus in the time of destruction in the time oh In the time of agony, 
They can call upon and make up. And they say, Hezekiah called. When Isaiah called, I tell him this morning, this day we are dying. He remembered because the Bible records that Hezekiah restored the altar. He opened the door of the temple. He cleared. He even destroyed the brass serpent of Moses, which the man had created as an e idol. Oh Lord, be faithful to us this morning. Through the blood of Jesus, we are counted worthy. We are counted your children. We come before you in boldness and in confidence, as the Bible says. We let everything aside. Let your glory manifest. It's only you, Jesus. It's only you, mighty Father. Oh! As the church of living God, revive it again. Revive it. Revive it. Though we may be few. But the children of God, we don't fear. We don't fear. For our America is alive. We are children of God. We are circumcised by the Spirit of God. We can tell the devil. You cannot hold the church of living God. Wherever you are, you are an intercessor. You are a child of God, a minister. You bear the flag. That flag is the Holy Spirit. That Holy Spirit is in you. Oh, little children. He that is in you is more than the one. He the one. Resist the devil. The Bible says, submit heart to the Lord. And says the devil, he shall flee away. Oh, you submit heart to the maker. And receive the devil, he shall flee away. There is power. There is power. Oh, children of God, there is power. Let the devil not lie to you. We are more than conquerors. We are more than conquerors. Even if you are just one man in that plot. You are just one man in that village. Hallelujah. You are not more than Daniel. It is not new to you. Even Daniel was just one man. Oh, very few. With the brothers. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They never required the whole church. No. They never required the whole cathedral. No, no, no. They require the spirit of the Lord. They require just to be found themselves in the word. Oh, blessed is the man who walks in the ways of God. Blessed is the man who knows his maker. This morning, blessed is the man who knows his king, who knows his deliverer, who does not protect in the evil ways of the world. He shall call in the name of Jesus. That faithful God shall hear him. Hallelujah. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, King of kings and the Lord of lords. Let it be known that the church of living God is exalted. He's exalted with Christ Jesus. He's exalted in Christ. He's exalted in Christ. Oh, time is no more. Time is no more. My precious brother, my precious sister, time is no more. Break every chain. Break every chain. Oh, let the church be restored. Time is no more. It's about it's about the midnight. It's about the midnight. When the doors are closing, like in the time of Noah, it's about the midnight. Oh, Lord, let us trim our lamp. Let us trim our lamp. There is a voice calling. Let us trim our lamp. Let us trim our lamp. 
The bridegroom is about to come. Let us see my lamp. Oh, Jesus. Let us see my lamp. Let us move in power. And the glory of God. His faithful king. He never forsake us. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, King of kings and the Lord of lords. You are worthy. You are mighty. You are loving. You are holy. There is none like you. Oh. Yeye ni mushindi. Hayezi shindo kamwe. Hakuna mwingine zaidi yake. Oh, church of living God. This is a great body God has given to us. Wherever you are, you can speak to the maker. You can speak to him. The deliverer. The champion of Calvary. The glorious God. Oh. Hallelujah. You can expand your territory in prayer. You can expand your territory in prayer. You can speak to the world standing before you. Every mountain stumble down. Every forces of darkness stumble down. The name of Jesus. Oh, the name of Jesus. Powerful name. Kingdoms must break down. Chains of darkness must stumble down. Oh. It's the last lap. Hallelujah. It is the last lap. Whether you have gone six laps around the wall of Jericho. Hallelujah. It is the last lap. God is telling Joshua in the seventh time, the last time, you must go around the wall of Jericho. Now seven times. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, mighty Father. Let us go around. Let's pray the last round. Hallelujah. Blow the trumpet. Blow the trumpet. In your family. Blow the trumpet. The trumpet of salvation. The trumpet of deliverance. There is a woman. Stuck in the walls of Jericho. He must come down. He must come out. It is the last trumpet of the last age. Before the midnight. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. And the Lord tells Joshua, get ready. This day. He does not stay. Have given you Jericho in your hand. Blow the trumpets. Blow the trumpet. The walls must tremble. And the children of God must access. I don't know what's holding you. I don't know what's standing before you. In the name of Jesus. Oh. Let the name of Jesus be lifted. Let the name of God be lifted. Let the name of God be lifted. His worthy, His worthy. His mighty, His powerful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take over. Glorify your name. Glorify your name. On the cross of Calvary. Everything is finished. Every power, every dominion. Glory, glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. I am no longer a slave. I am not a fearful man. There is no power again. Can make me tremble. Not even witchcraft. Eh? Not even a systemic occurrence in my family. I have deleted that bloodline. I am not connected to my uncle 
go. Whatever happened to the blood, to my bloodline, I am now delinking myself to that bloodline of delay, that bloodline of death of cancer, TB. I am disconnecting myself to that bloodline of witchcraft, Catholicism, and other things. I am connecting myself to the bloodline of Jesus for salvation. Oh, breaks the difference. I am disnaking myself to every bloodline. Oh, every witchcraft day. Every death occurring in my life. In the family, I disconnect myself. I am a child of God. I am a winner. I am a winner. I am a conqueror. Oh, speak it in the name of Jesus. Faithful King. Great deliverer. The living King. I am a winner. I am a winner. I speak the way the Bible speaks it. I speak it. Speak it the way the Bible says. Don't say the way the devil says in your life. Don't be discouraged. Don't be dismayed. Don't be. Oh. Be broken in your heart. No. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. He's still mindful of you. Speak like Job. Hallelujah. When everything is taken, you can tell the devil, I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. If I have the Redeemer, I can redeem my future. I can redeem my future. I came in. Oh. As the Bible says, Sam came in in the morning. Sam came in the midday. Sam came in the afternoon. But the pay is the same. You can redeem your future in Christ. Oh, you can redeem your future in Christ. Whether it be taken by alcoholism, there is nothing good you have ever you have ever seen in your life. I want to tell you, the future is in Christ. The future is in Christ. Oh, the future is in Christ. He who changed the life of Anna. He who changed the life. Of Elizabeth. Oh, stay in Christ. He has a good purpose for you. Not the way men of the world say. Not the way the people surrounding you say. But the Bible says, I Jehovah God has a good purpose for you in this life. Oh, thank you, Lord. He who changed the life of Oyamo when he was about to die. He has changed the death with the life. He reminded him, my son, you are to die. But I die for you. Take the reset. Pick the reset. Oh. Pick the reset. Give it to the devil. Show it to the devil. Tell the devil. The death you are telling me. My master has paid it. The death you are demanding from me. The life you are demanding from me. Oh, my life you cannot take it. My business you cannot take it. My children you cannot take. Because I have the reset. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, that is the reset. That the children of Israel had. They called. Show the angel of death and set. They tell the angel of death. This place is a no go zone. There is, the life has been paid. Whether there are 10 people here, they have been paid by one price, the perfect price. Oh. Show the devil the reset. What is that reset? 
the promise of God that has been won for you. Hey, the promise of God that has been won for you. That is what Abraham went before Chedeleba. He touched Chedeleba, released the captives. Hallelujah. Release the captives. Release the captives. Release the captives. You cannot hold them. Release the captives. Hallelujah. Release the captives this morning. We are telling the devil. Release the captives. Release the captives. Release them this morning. Hallelujah. Release the captives. Release the children of God. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Holy Spirit. Oh, the last the captive. The last the captive. You are telling the Lama. The last the captive. You cannot hold them. Hallelujah. My nephew Lord is there. You cannot touch him. My child is there. Alcohol, you cannot touch it. My business is there. You cannot touch it. Speak like Abraham to Chedelema. Oh, ha, ha, hey, hallelujah. Have yourself this morning. You don't care how many are they. Don't care. Speak like Hezekiah on our side. Oh. We don't worship a God who cannot move, who cannot talk. We worship a living king. We worship a living God. We worship a maker. We worship a deliverer. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The church cannot be held anymore. No. The wisdom of the world cannot hold the church. Your word is irreplaceable. Your promises are irreplaceable. You are the king of kings and the lord of lords. You are the perfect king. There is no man who can even remove the iota of your word. Where we are studying, Moses told her, and tell Pharaoh, we are not living anything. You are not doing us a favor. Ha <laughs> ha. The devil cannot do you a favor. Don't request the devil, no. Don't request him, no. Tell him, back off. Be like Abraham. Don't request the devil. Be like child. Don't request his error. Yes. Jabin has that destruction. He has sent Cicera to break Israel again. Don't accept it. Say no. Speak like child. I'll destroy Cicera. Whether the man of Israel let go. I have a command. Just like Abraham. I must destroy his Sarah. Hallelujah. 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 Oh. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the King of Kings. And the Lord of Lords. Whether. Hey. The messengers. Said by King Sennacherib, they are speaking loudly on top of their voice on the walls. They are discouraging the children of Israel. They are telling them that you know your God cannot fight. Hallelujah. They are reading the script of, Jere of Jeremiah. That is a bypass. They thought that the way God delivered Israel in the hand of Babylon, 
He's still again delivering them. Go. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. That was the best message. The Lord, that's not to revisit the sins of our forefather. No. He promised that I will no longer remember the sins. No. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. He tells Noah, I will no longer destroy the world by the sins of the children. By the, I will no longer destroy the children by the sin of their father. See, Sarah did not know that. King Sanacharibu did not know that. That the God has restored Israel. He's not again destroying them, but he's restoring them. Oh, might be there. You are backslidden. The way Israel had backslidden and taken to captivity in Babylon. Until Sennacherib was still thinking that because one day God rejected Israel. God will still re reject them. No. This is a man of the man of covenant. Tell the devil. Yet. Oh. I might have lost the love of God because of challenges and storm. But I hear the mother eagle calling. I will not hear the voice of the messenger sent by St. King Sennacherib thinking that the Lord has rejected us just because oh, we were one day taken to Babylon by the King, Bab King Nebuchadnezzar oh, just because one day cancer was in the family in our family there was struggle because I was born. Oh, in the poverty. Now the devil cannot use that to block my ways, to remind me of my of my backslidden. The devil cannot remind me of the past. No. He cannot remind me of the past. Hallelujah. Oh. I am not standing here of the, because of the past. But the Bible tells me. But if one is in Christ Jesus, he's a new creature. I am a new creature. Hey, I'm restored. I am a restored child of God. I am a new creature. The old is gold. Yes, I was a drunkard. Yes, I was a womanizer. No. The world is good. Hallelujah. That is what King Sennacherib taught. That again, God can forsake the children of God. Hallelujah. God will never forsake his children. God will never forsake his children. He operates according to his promise. Whether the promise of God finds me in exile. He is more than able. Oh, able God. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be exalted. You are worthy to be magnified. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Don't discourage yourself, precious brother. You might have lost your loved one. And think that you have lost, you have not left. It's your loved one has gone. But Jesus is not gone. Jesus, Jesus. You might have lost your job. It is your job that you have lost. You have not lost Jesus. Maybe your husband has run away from you. It is your husband, not Jesus. Hey! You are. You are 
your uncle. Just the way Laban did. To Jacob. Should change him. It is your uncle who should change you. But not Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> hey. They can short change you. The world can short change you. Your employer can short change you. But I bring you one who cannot short change. The one who never short change uh, Jacob. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. He told Stephen, I shall be with you. When they were storing Stephen, oh, he gave Stephen courage and boldness to start. And did the men were looking at Stephen and said, his face is shining like an angel. And Stephen raised his voice and said, forgive them. Oh, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. Nobody can stand against the gospel of Christ. No. That was his prayer. Open their eyes. Open the eyes of your children, Lord, this morning. Open the eyes of your children. They may know that the enemy can destroy the body, but he cannot access my soul. Oh. With all the short exchange in your life, what the devil has short Short change in your life. Maybe you are hearing me. And the devil is telling you to go and take, a, take your life. To kill yourself. Oh. Don't. The devil is telling you. You are nothing. You are zero. There is nothing you can bring on board. Your case is closed. I want to tell you, Joseph never killed himself. No. Joseph never killed himself. Usijilani. Kunae mwajezi mungu. Kunae mwajezi mungu. Oh. Hallelujah. You must have won. You, have, must have, you might have lost the battle. Just like Joshua. 16 soldiers are there. Uh -uh. He has lost the battle to I. But this morning, I want to tell you Jehovah God is still alive. He never forsake you, He never fail you. Now begin searching in the tent. What would have, what would have taken? What have taken away the presence of God? Once you realize that, take it away. Take the garment, the Babylonian garment away. And stand bold. Stand bold before God. Stand bold before the, before the enemy. And tell the I, yesterday is gone. Stand against me because there was a garment. Oh, there was corruption from my mouth, a lie. Because there was a lie. But once I've repented my sins, oh, I can speak like David. Oh, when I do not repent my sins, my bones ache. All day long. But blessed is a man whose sister's gestures are forgiven. <laughs> he can enter in the gates where the thanksgiving and praises unto the Lord. And the Lord will never forsake him. Speak unto the maker. Speak unto the liberer. No power, no force can should change. Hey, nobody, nobody. They cannot should change you. 
Aleluia. Aleluia. Oh, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, cake of cake and the Lord of love. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you for the morning declaration. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, the Lord of Lord and the King of Kings. Blessed be your name. Oh, the world may not give us peace. The world may not give us what we want. No, it may fail you. <laughs> it may fail you. But I'm reminded of the book of the book of Colossians chapter 2. He blotted every handwriting that stood against us. Oh, praise the Lord. He who blotted every handwriting that stood as a condemnation before us. Arise this morning. Arise, my so my fellow soldier. There is now no more condemnation to them with Christ Jesus. Not to them who are known by a pastor. No, not to them who fellowship in cathedrals and at big places. You may not be known by your pastor. Even to those who are joined on this platform. Some of you may not have met, but I want to tell you, there is now no condemnation and to them who is in Christ Jesus. It's not a matter of knowing each other. The matter is the cross of Calvary. Do you understand what was done on the cross of Calvary? Do you know the price that was paid for you? If you know, the way Jacob had a glimpse of our age. Oh, Jacob had a revelation of our age when he placed two sticks. Ah, ah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, oh my King. Praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You are worthy of praise. You are worthy to be glorified. You are holy. You are glorious. Holy Spirit. The incarnate one who took the flesh to dwell amongst the humanity. Give it the name Jesus. Oh Jesus. That name Jesus that saves humanity. Kingdoms and kingdom will come and pass. Dominion will come and pass. Oh, fellowships and fellowships will come and pass. But Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, I love you, Jesus. He who began the worship in the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve, he could come in heaven and worship with them. That's Jesus. Oh, but Oh, Noah and gave him the message the ark building the ark he's the same yesterday, today and forever let us worship him let us learn to work and praise the name of Jesus his mother name he is worthy yes kingdom we never pass away Ah. Oh. oh Oh Jesus Hallelujah I love you Jesus I love you Jesus I love you King of King and the Lord of Love Oh 
Thank you, Father. The devil has got no power upon our life. No, no, no. He has got no power upon our life. Jesus has blotted away every sin. He has blotted away every power of darkness. Ah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Holy Spirit, you are one, you are the one I need, you are the one, you never share your glory, restore the church, that believer who is bowing down, baby takes a task, that man who is traveling, he is in the hardware. Is a place of charm. Oh. Hallelujah. Oh. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, mighty King. Oh, thank you, Father. I love you. And I cherish you. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your King, O oh God. Glory to Jesus. Be your viewers wherever you are. This is BBN TV. We thank the Lord this morning. We woke up early. But the devil fought us not to come online. But thank to God with the technicians. He has blessed in place. We are able to come to you live. We might have just begun like 45 hours past. And oh God, he has given us grace and power. We're going to share the word of God. Magnify his name. Hallelujah. Because heaven and earth will pass away. Even my word will pass away. But the king of kings, oh, his word will never pass away. Hallelujah. So to the video viewers, wherever you are, on the Facebook, on the YouTube, my apologies for not coming on air as early as usual. Because of the technical hitch that we experience in the morning. I want to tell you, the gospel is burning in my heart. I cannot close until I share the word of God with you. And I believe all the time you are always blessed. That's why you are there. Hallelujah. Oh. Bible in the book of Genesis. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. He's worthy, he's mighty, he's powerful. I want to read with you in the book of Genesis, chapter 14. Wherever you are, precious brother and a sister, once again, we are sorry for coming late online. Just had a technical hitch. But we cannot forfeit whether well, uh, it's just a few hours. But I love Jesus, the King of kings and the Lord of Lords. When he's preached, oh, dominions break down. Powers of darkness break down. Because it's one. 
Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Chapter 14. Uh, and it came to pass from verse 1. It came to pass in the days of. Amraphel, king of Shina, Ario, king of Eli, Elasa, Shadaloma, the king of Elam, and Tina, king of nations. <laughs> Hallelujah. The book of Genesis, chapter 14. I just want to travel with you to let you remember. I uh, to remind you that the things of God are not taken easily. No, the things of God are not taken easily. This morning I said in my heart we must go on air. Whether the devil like it or not. Hallelujah. So we are reading here. These are the kings who stood against this nephew of Abraham called Lot. The demons always come in numbers. <laughs> they always come in numbers. Remember in the book of Matthew. Jesus' goal is asking that man who had demon possessed. And he's saying, he's asking them, how many are you? And he's bringing an answer that will make, if you are not strong in the word, you will tremble. See what the devil is saying? We are legend. Legend means big in number. And you look at it, just a small thing. That's what the devil does. He comes with the volumes of words to make you shake. Even in your mind, he comes with the volume of words. <laughs> and let me tell you this morning, the biggest field for the devil to wrestle is in your mind, not anywhere. Leave alone friends. Leave alone your church. Leave alone the people surrounding you. The biggest enemy, the prophet of the age says, the biggest battle ever fought, your mind. What you're feeding your mind. Hallelujah. So chapter 14 of the book of Genesis records here we begin by a number of the Bible records the kings of nations that were on the, on the side of the enemy. Hear those names. Amraphel, king of Shina, Ariot, king of Elasa, Chodelema, king of Elam, and Tidal, the king of nations. Hey, nations. Now this this made war with Bera, king of Sodom, and with Basha, the war, and with Basha, king of Gomorrah, Shinab, king of Adma, and Shema, king of Zboim. And the king of Bela with Zor. Aha. Uh -huh. And these were joined together in the valley of Sidim, which is the salt sea. 
12 years they served the Chedoloma and in the 13 year they rebelled ah and in the 14 year came Chedoloma and the kings that were with him and smote the fames in Ashetara Kanaim and Susim in Ham and Ims and Shef and Kiriam time yes verses 8 and there went out the king of Sodom and the king of Gomorrah and the king of Adma and the king of Zaboim and the king of Bela and they joined battle with them in the valley of Sidim Hallelujah. Verses 9. With Chadoloma, the king of Elam, and with Tidal, king of nation, and Af, Amraphel, king of Shina, and Iri Arioch, king of Elasa, for, for four kings with five. And the valley of Sidim full of slim, slim and pits. And the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah fled and fell there. And, and they that remained fled to the mountain. The place where I wanted is verse 11. And verse 12. And they took Lot. Hallelujah. And they took Lot. Abraham's. Abraham's son. Uh -huh. Abraham's brother's son who dwelt in Sodom and his goods and departed. Brother, if you can bring it on the screen from verses 12. Hallelujah. <laughs> verses 12 says, And they took Lot Abraham's brother's son who dwelt in Sodom and his goods and departed. And there came one that escaped and told Abraham the Hebrew. Hallelujah. Oh. And he, and, um, uh, and he told Abraham the Hebrew, for he dwelt in the plain of Mamre the Amorites, brother Feshol and brother Vane, and this was confident with Adam, Abraham. And when Abraham heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his trained servants, born in his own house, 318, and pursued unto Dan. Hallelujah. And he brought back all the goods and also brought again his brother Lot and his goods and the, and the women also and the people. And the king of Sodom went out to meet him after his return from slot of Chelelema and of the kings that were with him at the valley of Shave, which the kings died. And Melchizedek the king of Salem brought forth Bread and wine, and he was the priest of Sodom. High God. Oh God. Hallelujah. Precious brother. Let me just continue. Verse 21, and the king of Sodom said unto Abraham, Give me the person and take the goods to thyself. And Abraham said to the king of Sodom, I have lifted up my hand unto the Lord, the most high God, the, the possessor of heaven and earth, that I will not take from a thread even to the sholat, shoe latchet, and that will not take anything that is thy, lest you should say, I have made Abraham rich. <laughs> Save only 
that which young men have eaten and a portion of the men which went with me. Hallelujah. Now I want to bring to you, bring to your attention, the battle, the children of God, and the enemy. Hallelujah. This is Abraham, who was formerly called Abraham, came with his nephew, Lot, in the land of Canaan. But the order was, leave your kindred, don't come with any, but your children and your wife and your wealth. Hallelujah. And the shepherds. So Abraham did not hear to the voice of God. He carried Lot. And Lot brought problem in his life. Yes. Hallelujah. So the enemy came to destroy. Gomorrah, because when God, when Abraham spoke to, to Lord and told him, we don't have to strive for the grace. You are also now big. Your heart is big. It's also big on man. Now choose where you can go so that I can have peace. Don't need to fight. And Lord chose Gomorrah. Why? Because Sodom and Gomorrah, these are cities which had men, scientists, big people who could make uh, objects of, of war. And also the buildings were pity. They had modernity. You see that? They had modernity. When you look at them, from the outside eye, you could desire. Even today, there are so many who are looking, who come to the church because of the outlook. Lord looked at the outlook. He looked at how ah, the city is built. He didn't want to go the other side. No. He wanted to go in the city and to experience the modernity of the city. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jehovah God, being a king of kings, he had chosen for the children of God where to be. The children of God being humble. Some were living just in the tent. But there was Sodom and Gomorrah there. Sodom and Gomorrah stands for the world. Hallelujah. Sodom and Gomorrah stands for the world. Sometimes our children can choose to because of what the world is. Sometimes when we see when the world the appealing things of the world our sisters sometimes they choose to go to the world. Hallelujah. Because Sodom was appealing. It was like a town. It was built well. Many had some technologies which, which was appealing. Just like today. 
Many people want to come to Nairobi. Many people want to go to the cities. And you parents, sometimes you have raised your children in a godly way. But they sometimes choose when they've come of age to join some some they join some groups they choose to join some groups as I've told you Sodom and Gomorrah stands for the world of all the places imagine Lord had seen the true worship he lived with Abra Abraham he witnessed the God of Abraham the God who gave Abraham ah he blessed Abraham with many workers kettles so many things Abraham had been blessed a blessed man hallelujah why was he blessed? Because he hearkened to the voice of God. Even the way of worship. And that's why some of our loved ones, they choose. So because of misunderstanding, that one tells you that the, the life of, of the world was in Lot from the beginning. He couldn't bear to be in the tent of believers with the worship of God that he witnessed in the tent of, of Abraham. Still there was, there was some world in him he could not bear. But leave that aside. What do we do when our children join bad company what do we do when we realize that one of our, of our brother is backslidden what do we do when we realize a servant of God has gone down what do we do when we realize that the ministry has gone down and the U.S. is flourishing. Hallelujah. Remember, Lord was also a minister in, in Sodom. Though he could compromise with some things. Yes. He could compromise with some things. But Abraham could not didn't want to know that. He said, I must go for my brother and rescue him. Hallelujah. That is what I want to dwell in. Can you go to rescue that which the devil has taken from your hand? Are you able to stand? And go for that which the devil has taken from your hand. From the way we have read, this is Abraham. Lord is taken. The king, five kings. And that Sodom and Gomorrah. And other cities. And Lord is also taken. And his family. And his belongings. Lord just to go to Sodom and Gomorrah offer the chance to be in the tent of Abraham that he may know the God of Abraham but because the love of the world was in him oh fellow brother and sister wherever you are learn to raise your child in the way of God let the people surrounding you know the God you serve. Yes. Number two. Don't be in comfort when your brother is taken. 
when the judge is taken when a believer is taken don't sit down and begin saying you know i saw that some days ago <laughs> ah That's sometimes what we say. You know, God showed me that that man will fail. His daughter will be taken. God showed me that you know, Brother Johannes will fall down. I knew that. What do you do? If God showed you, what do you do? God showed me that family X will fall down. What do you do? Do you go and sit down and begin enjoying because Abraham had all it takes. He had blessings. He had blessed. But when he had, the information comes to Abraham. Hallelujah. I love this man Abraham. A true believer, a true church of living God, who cannot sit and see that children that is brethren are under attack. They cannot. Yes. They cannot sit and say that if they are under attack, it is not our business. No. It is our business to go for our loved ones which are taken by the devil. It is our business as a church to go and deliver to go for hostages. Hallelujah. Let me use that word hostages as being used currently what is happening around Oh, glory to God. This is just a beautiful for me. This is just good for me. <laughs> With all the promises that the Lord has given us, all the promises written down, I want to tell you, there is nothing for free. There is nothing that comes for free. Oh, child of living God. There is nothing that comes for free. You must fight for it. You must war. You must wrestle. You must arise. Yes. Where are the hostages? I want to like at this. What we are seeing in the, in the current affair. Oh, what a beautiful thing the Lord is just giving me. Something that I never planned. Abraham is going for the hostage. He's going down for the hostage. There are so many kings who have waged war against the church, against Lord, against our brethren. But we don't care. <laughs> we don't care. Because God has given us where you are, where you are working. <laughs> Wherever you are employed, in that employment where you are, I want to tell you, Satan will not give you peace. Some people are just asking, why just me? Why just me? Uh, why just me? Why just this sickness on me? Why just people waging war? At work against me. The other people are not being fought. Why just me? God has promised me. And again the devil is rising. Why just me? 
I want to tell you, as the Bible says in the book of Matthew 8, chapter 11, <laughs> since the time of John the Baptist, the, king, the kingdom of God suffers violence, and the violence people take it by force. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is Lord. Lord has been detected. And we have the church must stand. The church knows very well that the promise of God is yes and amen. Where the Lord is taken, they have a promise in the tent. Oh. This gospel is dripping with blood. Oh yes, it's dripping with blood. Oh, this holy gospel is dripping with blood. It's dripping with blood. There is nothing for free. There is nothing for free. Whether it is be the promise, there's nothing for free. It must come by price. It must come by price. Hallelujah. Don't look down upon yourself. Don't begin complaining. Oh, this and this has happened to me. Stand at your feet for the sake of the church. For the sake of of your children for the sake of your business yes hallelujah Abraham knew very well that there's nothing taken for free all the hostages taken by the enemy we must go after them hallelujah hallelujah oh that one makes me happy. For a soldier, for you to be called a soldier. For you to be called a soldier. A soldier is a man armed in battle. A soldier is a believer armed in battle. You cannot be a soldier who has never fought any battle. That's why you be a fake. Yes. With all the witchcraft is surrounding you. With all the weakness, the, the, the sickness surrounding you. I want to tell you, you are a soldier. You are a soldier. Go before the hostage. Go before the promise of God in your life. Go before that which God has spoken concerning your life. <laughs> Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Look what Jesus God is reminding Joshua. Have I? Let me just read it. Read it. In Joshua chapter one. Love this so much. Oh. Yes, Lord. Verses 9, chapter, chapter 1, verses, verses 9. God is repeating. And I want to read verse 7 first. Only you. Only be you strong and very courageous. That you may observe to do according to all the law. Which Moses, my servant, commanded you, turn not from it. Right or to the left, that you may prosper wherever you go. Hallelujah. 
There's something I'm living from verses 2 that I want us to revisit. Moses, my servant, is dead. Oh. <laughs> now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, you and only these people, and the land which I give to them, even to the children of Israel, every place. The sole of your feet shall tread upon that I've given unto you. And as, as I said unto Moses. Very true. The promise is given to the church. No power, no force. The Bible says, Peter, upon this rock, no, no enemy shall prevail. Again, no case of hell shall prevail. The entire Bible is a love. It's a love letter to the bride. You and me are the, are the bride. What is the love letter? <laughs> the love letter describes the love of the bridegroom to his bride. All the things he has he reminds you all the things he'll give to you when you accept him. He gives you the agenda, the mind he has for you, the things he has in store for you. When a man loves you, he will give you all the promise. I remember here back when we are still teenagers. The issue of phones were not so much in those times. Few had the phones. And they were very expensive to use them. So as young men in the world, we could not afford. So when we wanted a lady, you could uh, write a letter describing the things, the promise the love you have for her. And you know this was just but a lie because a man cannot fulfill. What we have this morning, the word of God is a love letter for the child of, of God. Hallelujah. So God is telling Joshua, have I not commanded you? Be courageous. And let me dwell there for a minute. There is no way you can go and pray for courage. Hey, courage is an experience you attain every time God works with you. <laughs> every time God works with you, you develop courage. What gives you courage? What gives the courage to the children of God? As the Bible says, that the Spirit of God gives you courage and boldness. So it may not be attained in one day, but with the experience you have with the Lord, it gives you courage and boldness. That is what the first church had. Courage and boldness. Because they had the spirit of God. So, God is telling Joshua, be, be courageous. Hallelujah. These are men who went and spiced the land. They went and spiced the land. And they came back with a good report that surely in salvation, oh, in salvation, there is healing, there is baptism of the Holy Spirit. We are more than conqueror. <laughs> they came back with a report of the tidings, of good tidings. That in salvation, 
I am able to conquer. In Jesus, there is nothing impossible can stand before me. Hallelujah. They came back with a good report. Yes. But again here, God is telling Joshua, <laughs> you have spotted the land. The promises are there. Yes. The promise of God is unmerited. Ah. It's unmerited blessings of God. The things you can you never merited. That is what you are going to have. That is what you are being given. Hallelujah. It is unmerited. That's why when you come to Jesus, it is not about the level of education. But be aware, I'm not championing ignorance. No, I love education. But now when you come to Jesus, you come to Jesus through the promise of God. These are unmerited. You never deserved. There is nothing you can pay for it. What you are getting. But now you are standing there. Remember this was the land of Philistine. They were driven away. <laughs> Why were they driven away? Because they never hearkened to the voice of God. You remember what God is telling Abraham that when uh, the seeds or the iniquity of Amorites will come to fulfillment. Yes. When you don't repent, God will take you away. Hallelujah. So Joshua is being told that land is yours and yet <laughs> enemies are already there. The Amorites, the Jebusites, the Hittites, they are already there, they are already occupied. All those tights, tights, tights I mentioning are already there. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. You are coming to salvation when the message is diluted. When it is discouragement and discouragement. You are coming to salvation when the economy is tough. There is no job. The sickness is there. There is no answer for the doctors. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are coming to salvation. When the people around you are telling you the days of miracles are not there, you cannot receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Those are the, the nations, the spiritual. In the spirit is nation. I mean in, in physical nation, but spiritually, these are discouragement. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even your parents cannot understand it. The people, the friends cannot understand it. But that is where God is telling you, you must be Holy Ghost filled. You must be blessed in this salvation we bear. Oh, you look at yourself. Where will I get it? Hallelujah. Oh. You're coming to this faith. Hallelujah. Where there is no hope. No hope. Hallelujah. Many things have discouraged your life. And I want to tell you this. That is how the children of Israel were. They were told the land is there. <laughs> 
The promise is there. It's given. Oh, glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. You are worthy. You are powerful. You are glorious. The Lord is there. It is spotted. <laughs> Joshua never told us God. But the land is, you are telling us the land is there. They are already occupied. No. So, hallelujah. Yes. Before the sickness was, the healer was there. Hallelujah. Before the poverty was there, the giver was there. Oh, hallelujah. Before employment was there, employer was there. Go for that. In the name of Jesus Christ. So when the, the, the ten were being discouraged, that, oh, how can, how can God? You know they had not seen it before. <laughs> hallelujah. They had not been there before. They were born in Egypt. This promise was given to their forefather. As the promise of restoration was given to our forefather, we've never been there. But they have enjoyed the fruit. And so they have, they have promised us that the same fruit will you enjoy. Now when we are looking at them, we can see them written in the Bible. But now one thing remaining is for somebody to go for it. Hallelujah. The way it was written. Hallelujah. And they want to go for it. When they were in captivity in Egypt, they are now coming out. And they are coming out with a promise. The land is flowing, milk and honey. The Bible never told them, or the promise never told them that the land is occupied already. Oh. Hallelujah. The land is already occupied. They began their journey. One on, on the shore of Jordan River. Where the, the Bible calls the place Kadesh Badea. God is telling Moses, now I want you to choose 10 men, a 12 men from every tribe, the elders, let them go and spy the land. They come back with a report. And I say, the land is there. <laughs> Salvation is there. As the Bible says, but I tell you, Oh, getting that, that, getting the Holy Spirit is no joke. Oh, hallelujah. The promise is there written, but attaining the degree, it is problem. You know, in our family, there's never been anybody who has attained the degree, but they only have seen it written that all things are possible. Oh my God. There's nobody who has ever owned a supermarket in our family. But they hear the promise says, all things are possible with God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, what shall we do? What shall we do? Hallelujah. The man comes back with a promise. Comes back. Some having a message of discouragement, but has some have the message of confidence and boldness. It is the boldness that will make you go, destroy the enemy, occupy the land. Oh, it is given to you. Oh, the promise given to you. God wants you to, to be confident. God wants you to be bold. Hallelujah. With everything you are going through. 
God has not denied you anything. That is what you need to know. God has never denied you anything. No, 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 no. Arise. Arise. As the Bible says, Arise, you sleepers. Go. Take the boldness. Yes. When God gives a promise, He doesn't go and repeat Himself or begin. He doesn't go and begin repenting and oh, you know, I gave this promise. I didn't know that this condition will be this way. No. He is the Lord. He is the King. Oh, I love Jesus. I love the King of Kings. I hear Joshua say, having the confidence, telling his friend, <laughs> Oh, my brother, I have this confidence that he that began a good work in us, Oh, my brother, Caleb, he that began a good work in us, yes, we must go and take the promise. Hallelujah. Remember where this confidence came from. They could trace their bloodline from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. When the place I was ready in the book of Genesis, chapter 14. Hallelujah. Uh, Abraham is going for the four hostage. Abraham is going for the hostage. He say, I must rescue Lot. I don't care what the devil has brought. I must go for Lot. I don't know what the devil has taken hostage in your life. Is that your prayer life? Is that your ministry? Is that your husband? Is it your wife? Is that your business? What is it that the devil has taken? Oh, hallelujah. It is not coming easily. No. It cannot come easily. It must come by price. By you standing bold. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The scripture speaks about uh, Abraham, a man who decided to go for his, for his nephew. A lot had taken another way. He had taken the way of denomination. But that could not stop Abraham from praying for Lord. I also want to remind you, Church of Living God. You don't just pray for those who are in your tent. No. Don't just pray. Only for those who are in the tent. We are one army. We are one soldier. Yes. We must fight. Because. Once the eyes are open. We must go for every hostage. You don't pray for somebody because you fellowship with him. You don't pray for somebody because he's your family member. Yes. You don't pray for somebody because you work with that body. It is the responsibility for a believer to fight. Hallelujah. To fight. You have to fight. Oh. Glory. Glory to Jesus. It is only by that is when you can attain what the Lord has in store for the church of living God. 
So Abraham giving us that a direction that for you and for me you must fight must pray for the church there are many believers who are taken hostage some have been taken hostage for, by the spirit of immorality yes some have been taken hostage by drunkenness and you know your brothers and your sisters who have been taken hostage can you go for them with the courage and boldness and you tell the devil you cannot take my cousin you cannot take my son you cannot take my friend even for the ministers of the world hallelujah hallelujah there are so many people who sit and begin crying for the situation yes they just sit there and begin crying oh god why me <laughs> oh. god why me why am i doing all this why should I, why should i pass through all this i want to tell you my brother my sister we are not formed to cry no, 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 no. You are not being raised to cry. <laughs> You've been raised to fight. Hakuna kitu chabure. Hakuna. Hakuna. That's what I'm telling you, my brother, my sister. In every age of the Bible, of every age, there is nothing ever came on a silver platter. Go for hostage. Go for the hostage. That which has been taken, go for it. Go for the promise. Go for that which God has promised you. Stop crying. Fight the battle. Fight the battle. Whether your wife has been taken, fight it. Hallelujah. Tell the devil. You cannot take it. Hallelujah. Fight it. Oh. You've been raised for this time. For this purpose. To find a battle. As a child of God. I give you courage. I give you boldness. Go for the hostage. Pray for the church. Oh. Hallelujah. I love God. I love King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. God in his divine agenda. That is how he has made it. That you and me, nothing can come on a silver platter. No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, nothing. The land is spotted. The land is spotted. Ah, something good is coming. <laughs> something is good is coming. As I hear the Lord is leading me back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you know what you carry, if you know that you are in Christ, no. <laughs> yes, hallelujah. Don't begin to say, did you know when I'm in Christ, sickness cannot attack me. The enemy cannot attack me. That's the lie of the devil. That's why the, some children of God, as long as we are left in heaven, we are not in heaven. We are prone. <laughs> we are prone to all these things. The enemy will come. Yes, the enemy will come. 
God. That's why God is telling, telling Joshua, fight, fight. I'll not fight. You fight. I've lost the enemy in your hand. You have the weapon. Fight. Fight your way. Be bold. Be bold. Hallelujah. Be bold. I bring you the lives of Job. <laughs> I bring you the life of Job. A righteous man. Sickness never came because he was seen at all. Hallelujah. It never came that way. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Ah. something um the book of first peter i want to the book of first peter from verse seven first peter chapter five verse seven this one will build you to fight the battle to fight the battle to go for what God has promised you, child of God. The promise of God I yes and amen. You should not be lied. <laughs> Those are there. Chapter 5 of the, of the first book of Peter. I will begin from verse 8. Be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a rolling lion walketh, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Yes. Be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a rolling lion. Halali. Seeking whom he may devour. Hallelujah. Verses 9. Verses 9, my dear brother. Oh. Verses 9. Okay, I'll read. Whom resist sacrifice in the faith, knowing the same affliction are accomplishing you in, in, in your brethren that you are that are in the world. Now verse 10, hear this. But the God of all grace, who has called us unto his eternal glory by his Christ Jesus, after that you have suffered a while, makes you perfect. Now see, all these things that the church goes through, affliction, tribulation, and so forth. See what makes you. Hai kufanyu lielie apana. Oh, I love Jesus. You now understand why the children of Israel took that long in the wilderness that God, because these men, they had not known the ways of God. So God must have, God caused them to go through the wilderness, to go through affliction. When they never had food, they began crying unto the Lord. And God rained man and quail. When there was no water, they began crying. God enabled us, God taught them to depend on God, on Him. Hallelujah. Have you ever sometimes gone through the desert 
when you are calling a friend nobody is able to pick everybody is in danger that's the time you are completely pressed to the wall hallelujah <laughs> oh even to the one you trust so much you are pressed to the wall a friend a brother of mine was telling me my brother I woke up in the morning I tell you I was shocked I one day woke up in the morning I found about seven missed calls a precious brother and I was asking why why this why this uh missed call Oh I was wondering what has happened to my dear brother But you know we had it, we had spoken a while early morning and uh, some sleep took me and the enemy struck his family so the brother tried to call me and I was dead asleep my phone was on my pressure oh he called and called I never took the phone hallelujah God was training them not to depend on a man to depend on him they asked remember this man they even asked the amorites they told him no the the, the, the moabites that just give us we shall walk on the highway our sheep are not if when our animal will destroy your crops will pay it we will not allow our animal to drink from your well hey any destruction will pay for it this nation refused even the way to go through they refused <laughs> oh sometimes the devil can make you think that god has left you and these people are working with a promise but the nation refused to give them access that they may they may go god was teaching them something don't begin complaining they are murmuring cause god to bring the snack and begin biting them and god was teaching them if there is nothing in your if there is if you are lacking something speak to the rock speak to the maker speak to the to the giver oh hallelujah i love that so the bible says here verses 10 but the god of the old grace who has called us and we set on all glory by Christ Jesus after that you have suffered for a while suffer the while make you perfect establish strengthen and settle you oh it's a very powerful <laughs> god will perfect you will establish you will strengthen you and will settle you hallelujah 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 <laughs> oh thank you jesus now you understand that my brother my sister wherever you are oh these things god has allowed them sometimes you are sick to the point of death sometimes even there is no any meal in your life any meal in your family you are desperate there is one step you can make like that woman of shunemites <laughs> hey like that woman of shunemites nothing but Eli Elijah is telling him woman believe in the promise of God the oil will not dry in your crucible. Where the flower will not die. Be 
because you depend on God, take courage, face the devil, destroy, go for the host. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is nothing that delay is not denied. God is perfecting you. It's just for a while. Hallelujah. May the Lord give you grace to understand that the God has not forsaken you. God has not left you. God still calling at you. Come. But one thing I want to remind you, as I've read in the book of Genesis, a believer must go, must arise, must fight, must declare war. Hallelujah. Declare war. Because the promise is given to us. Declare war. Declare war. Oh. Hey, the devil, you cannot take it. Don't take me for a grant. Just because I'm, a, I'm just an orphan, no. Just because I'm a widow, no. Just because. Hallelujah. I have no education, no. Just because I'm no husband, no. Ah, ah. I know the promise of God. Hallelujah. Where we have read, see, Abraham is not taking other soldiers, no. Read the word of God very well. Hallelujah. Oh. Oh, verses 14. And when Abraham had, the book of Genesis 14, 14. And when Abraham had that his brother was taken captive, he up his trained servant. Hallelujah. Hey. Born in his own house. 318. And pursued them unto the earth. Oh, hallelujah. Pursue. Pursue. Hallelujah. Remember in other in Abraham's tent, they never had God this war. The same people he's talking of the train. They were just cattle keepers. Wale wajugaji wake, wafanyikazi wake. But Abraham took a step of faith and boldness. He took it and said, I am not letting them go. I'll pursue it. I'll destroy it. I'll take it. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know why the children of God... Look down upon themselves. Don't look down upon yourself. Jesus loves you. Let nobody tell you that God cannot do it. No. Pursue it. Pursue it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. And the last one as I am complete. Oh, and the king of Sodom went out. Verse 16 says, And he brought back all the goods, and also brought again his brother Lot, and his goods, and the women, and also the people. Oh, God is just waiting for you to take a step. When you take a step, he releases the grace. The grace, the grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is what he's telling Joshua. I want boldness from you. Boldness from you. How Jericho will crumble down, I don't know. What is the boldness? Take the sword. Face the enemy. Hallelujah. Take the faith. Take the word of God. Take the enemy. You cannot take it in the name of Jesus. Back to the center. 
Alléluia, Osana. Alléluia, Osana. Oh, God help us. We may start with boldness. We may start with courage. We tell the devil no. We cannot hold it again. We are going for a hostage. That is what the church wants to stand. Don't relinquish. Don't begin saying, Yang we make a pana, pana. Hide the kata, we make a Sese to Nasimama, Kinyube, Nampango Shatani. Hallelujah. And after that, God rewarding Abraham. Verse 18 says, And Melchizedek of Salem brought forth bread and wine. And he was a priest of the Most High God. Oh my God. One day, my brother, my sister, when we have fought the war, the battles we are going through, when everything is done, we shall meet our Lord in the air, wiping our tears. We not come to God because we have higher education, not because of the status in the society. You may not be respected as such. You may not bear any big name. Oh, but in the kingdom of God, Oh, the kingdom of God and bears witness of you because you are a soldier. Every time, every time in the morning arising and going for the hostage, standing with the ministry through giving, praying for the ministers. Whether you have heard the devil has attacked, you stand like Abraham and say, I am not a language. I'm going for my brother, my sister in prayer. I'm going for my for my family. Oh. The Bible says, and Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought forth bread and wine. And he was the priest of the most high God. Who is Melchizedek? Oh. Ah. Hallelujah. This is a man who didn't have the father or the mother. Who is this man? The Lord God, the King of Kings. Oh, one day you and me from the battlefield. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, King of Kings. From the battlefield. Oh. With the plunder. Oh, Jesus. That is our prayer. That one day we shall crawl at your feet with a thousand of trophies which Lord you enabled us to go and preach the gospel and the sinners came to the knowledge of truth. Oh, God. Help us, mighty Father, that one day we shall stand with the trophies. Us. Paul says, I have fought the fight, the good fight. I have kept the faith. He has stood before me. The crown. Oh, mighty Father, as I sit here, Lord, help me that I may be a good servant. I may preach the gospel in the truth and the spirit. I may present it as it is. My prayer this morning, O oh God, that the children of God may rise and go for the promise of God. Oh, we have a family which has been taken hostage by the devil, chains of darkness. Our children, oh, ministers who are must lead them. They have lost the love of God. Oh, men and women of God, 
who supported the ministry. The devil has fed them with a lie. Oh, King of Kings, we expect the power of God to touch them. That sinner, wherever he is, oh, he may hear the sweet voice of God calling to him that, oh, Jesus loves him. Jesus is binding him to come that he may, oh Lord, may you call him. May he hear, may she hear. There is one like Lord. Oh, there is one like Lord who had, who was in the tent of Abraham, but he has gotten out of the tent of Abraham. The enemy has gotten him out of the tent. Oh, Jesus Christ, as the message, restore the message. May you raise the true servants of God who can go before Lord and tell Lord, Oh, we are coming for you when you are both leading. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Here stands the church, the true church represented in Abraham. They say we cannot allow our children to be taken in hostage. They must finish education. Luminat cannot take it. That is the king of Chodelema who has taken it. Oh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go for the hostage. Hallelujah. The business. Your business is taken in hostage. Fear has taken you. Hallelujah. Fear. Fear of the devil. Fear of the devil has taken you. Because of the report of the doctor, of the report. Hallelujah. I want to bring you to the attention. We must come for you. We must come for you. We must come for you. It is not late. Dear brother, let us stand for the let us stand. Let us call on the name of Jesus. Oh, let us call on the name of Jesus. The powerful king, the great redeemer. The great I am. He is worthy. He is mighty. Christianity is power. Bible says. The gospel never came with the word alone, but in power. We declare power of God. We, dis- we, that we are new. Every works of the devil in our lives. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I love this. One day, from the field of battle, coming back, oh, our Lord will meet us. And oh God, prepare the devil in the sky. And tell us, welcome, my faithful servant, welcome, my faithful brother. Oh, reminds me, Stephen. When he was being stoned. Oh God. When Stephen was being stoned. He never placed his mind on the stone. The stones were being held on his side. But he is a faithful soldier. He said he never came on the silver platter. Ah, I am a soldier. I cannot sell my birthright. That is the time he said. I saw the Lord, the Son of God sitting at the right side of the Father. Oh, that is the time the Lord arose and welcomed the faithful man in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. We are soldiers. The way we see Melchizedek 
the king of Salem. Oh, blessing Abraham. That is the same. It shall be. When we have fought our battle, the Lord shall bless us, shall again rejuvenate us. He shall welcome us. Thank you, mighty Father. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, one day we shall walk the corridors of heaven. Jesus is coming. Let us fight the battle. Let us raise the flag of revival. Let us go for hostage. Restoration in every side of our life. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I want to pray with you. Heavenly Jesus, your word is true and amen. Every hostage that has been abducted has been taken by the enemy. Our children which began well just like Lot has again have been taken by drugs have been taken by immorality witchcraft oh by Illuminati LGBTQ the devil has, the Satan has released that devil called LGBTQ to devour our children. Oh, mighty Father, it is my humble prayer. This morning, as they hear this sweet voice of God, they may come back as that prodigal son. Come the knowledge of Christ to say Jesus is a savior. He's bearing us back where you are in the deep of sin. Come back to Jesus. We are coming to you by the gospel of delivery, gospel of salvation. Oh, oh, oh. We deliver. The children were taken captivity. Lord, have your way. Have your way. Somebody is sick. Somebody is afflicted. By Chedoloma. Somebody has lost hope. Oh, I stand like Abraham. I come to you in the name of Jesus. Let go. The children of God. Let go. The children of God. I, you devil. I come to you. In the name of Jesus. Let go. You can hold him no more. You can hold her no more. You cannot take. Life of that precious brother and sister. You cannot take the employment. Of that precious brother and sister. Receive your employment. Receive your healing. Receive your business. Receive your prayer life. Receive, oh, the grace that you had in that area that you are. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh. Precious brother and sister, I thank the Lord for that scripture, for the sharing that was truly leading of God. I believe that God has blessed you. 
will no longer be the same again. Hallelujah. We began with too much destruction and interruption. We began so late because of the interruption, the technical interruption that we had in the morning. When the devil knows that something good is about to happen, he will go try to distract. And I love Jesus. He has a billion ways of working. The devil cannot hold. And I believe it has been a blessing to you and for me. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to thank you. You who are tuned in. Though I began late, but you, you remain tuned. Wherever you are. The Lord bless you. Lord keep you. Cannot fail to identify a number of men and women here. Daniel Oyo Ongoya, that's in the YouTube. God bless you. Leia Msilo, my precious sister, say thank you, Jesus, for pray. paying the price on the cross for me. May you lead my steps in life and do it the lion of the tribe of Judah. God bless you, my precious sister, Jen Mai. Saying amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Samson Omondi tuned in. God bless you. That a chariot saying it's not the good works, it's grace. Very true. God bless you, my precious sister. Blessed us when you have rolled the coat, the ball in my coat. <laughs> my precious brother. God bless you, brother David, who has been with you from Monday. Preaching the dying love of God. Saying, Master is never rotten. As three women thought he walked up from grave. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's not the, the dead who not hold him. He's alive. Oh, God bless you, my brother. God bless you so much. And all of you who are tuned. Hallelujah. They remain steadfast that we may hear the word of God God bless you God bless you I love you so much with the love of God every time tuning in oh it's never in vain hallelujah even those who are watching through BBN TV May not read your comments. Be assured that the Lord loves you so much. And the Lord keep you strong. Hallelujah. Oh, on the Facebook, I see Sister Elizabeth Atieno. God bless you. Mary, Mary G. Buka. God bless you. Hallelujah. Blessed Aswen, my precious brother and the servant of God, God bless you. Elizabeth Atieno. Oh. Across a different continent, all the way. I believe it's in America. God bless you, my precious brother. My si uh, precious sister, wherever you are. May you be our ambassador wherever you are and go and expand your territory bless you so much remember to stand with the work of God and God is going to bless you bless you and bless you hallelujah not only her but all of us even I who is speaking there is no shortcut to tap in the blessings of God Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Before we come to the end, this has been a service. Just prepare to give your offering in the hands of in the, in the house of God. As I pray, mighty Father, in the name of Jesus. Bless the dear viewer. Bless each and every one who is giving. Oh God, bless his vineyard. You may never lack. 
I speak it in the name of Jesus. I wish the technician, I swear the technician to post or to project the uh, baby number and the team number on the screen. Remember, we also have account for the land. This place has grown so small. The number has multiplied. So you can give, you can send, begin early sending to the account number. And the Lord will bless you so much. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Otherwise, I think the technicians have delayed to post the pill and the pay bill. But I believe most of you know it. I want to close by saying that God loves you. There is nothing. The promise of God is not coming on the silver platter. Thank you, my brother, for the tea number. It's never coming on the silver platter. Let us go for them with the boldness, the confidence, fighting in the name of Jesus. Otherwise, I appreciate Brother Timothy, the pianist, uh, Brother Buya, who worked with me, this, and uh, Hillary and so many we may and uh, that we may ensure that this program comes to place whether the devil fight and many more the singer sister Catherine Sarah and other sister Helen God bless you God equip you more and more may you not remain in murmuring but go boldly the promise of God God bless you I love you I love you. the love of God. Let us make decree our morning devotion of power. Wake up in the morning, seek the Lord, call in the name of Jesus. It's never in vain. Otherwise, God bless you. Shalom and shalom. Take you back to the studio, to the rest of the programs in the name of Jesus. Back to the studio. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus.